Okay, so we've got a pair of goals this time. Um, first thing we want to do is get rid of this weirdness with the logo. Um, that's not the way we want it to look, obviously, although it's kind of interesting. Um, the second thing we want to do is talk a little bit about short shorthand, uh, uh, CSS shorthand. So um, first this. Um, note that all images that are decoration are um, backgrounds in CSS. So we actually do have an image in HTML here, right? Why is that in HTML? Because that's actual content, right? That's that's content. That's um, an image of something you're describing. This is decoration. Uh, a logo is decoration, so it belongs in CSS. And CS, because CSS is for presentation, and CSS uh, deals with images always as backgrounds. As a result, this image has no way to push out the header and kind of blow it up like a balloon so that it'll fit in there. We actually do have to force it open. And the way we're going to do that is, earlier I said we don't use height very often. This is one of those cases where we would use height, and we can say we want it to be 150 pixels high. And that gives us the space to display the whole image um, so that it can show up. Now we do have one, two, three, four of those, or three and a half of those. Um, so what do we do about that? Um, here's where we can start to talk about shorthand. We could say that this is actually not background. This is background image, and then you have things like background repeat, background position, um, uh, background color, but we can put those all in one by using spaces in between. So we could put the color here, um, we could put the, um, the, the position here, which we'll do in a second. Um, to give you an example of that, all along we've been using just border as well. Border uh, size is one pixel, border color is black, border um, style is solid, but I never do that. I always put it in this shorthand because it's faster and easier to read. So let's do that here as well. We want no repeat. We'll see what that does. So we'll refresh it here. Oh, it's disappeared. That's not good at all. Uh, images, no repeat. Oh, because we have background image and I have done that. <laughs> there we go. Let's try that again. Background as a shortcut, as a shorthand, has nothing there but background. And we'll save it. And there it is. But it's kind of underneath this. Actually, that's interesting looking, but that's not what we want to do. We could put it on the top right. Um, and we'll refresh this. But that's pretty far over there. We can actually be really um, choosy about where we want to put it. We could put it at like uh, 150 pixels by 0 pixels and position it right there. And uh, this takes some, some hunt, hunting and pecking to figure out right where it should go. And again, things can resize, so you're never exactly sure. Uh, but we get there, right? Um, so uh, that gets us kind of, that fixes our problem with the logo. I just want to note that that works for fonts as well. You can do font with the style and the name and italics all on one line separated by spaces. And for padding, here this says padding all the way around. You can do padding right, padding left, padding top, padding bottom. Or you can do it like this, 20 pixels, 50 pixels, 40 pixels, 30 pixels. What this means is you start, you go around a clock. This is padding top, padding right, padding bottom, padding left. It's just like a clock. 12 o'clock, um, sorry, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 9 o'clock. You just go clockwise around the clock starting with high noon, and that'll give you the padding and the margins if you want to do it in shorthand. And that's it for now.